Hello? I would like to orgasm, please. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Thomas, back at it again with yet another video. Quickly, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone that commented, sent messages, emails, DMs, the people that texted me personally, all the amazing love and support that I've received since my last video. It has been an insanely emotional week for me and I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support and honestly it lit, it relit a spark in me that I never thought I would get back and before I get too emotional already in today's video, I just want to say thank you and I love you guys so much. So I actually have a lot of video ideas planned and a lot of them required me to purchase the products online and they have yet to come here. So I thought today, because I don't have any of the products that I purchased online, that I could actually shop my stash that I already have. I've been seeing this video kind of circulate this kind of idea and I thought it would be really cool if I just came back to my stash and kind of used a bunch of products that I completely forgot I owned, completely forgot that I even, even enjoyed, and completely forgot that even existed to be honest that's what we're doing for today's video if you guys have not already subscribed i would appreciate it so 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 much we are very close to hitting 500k again yes again number two the second time hitting 500k uh kind of embarrassing but it's another goal and we're gonna party like i hit it for the first time um give this video a huge thumbs up i kind of want you guys to go through your makeup stashes and let me know in the comment section down below like what makeup you forgot you loved or you forgot you even owned and let me know in the comment section down below i'm kind of interested because i was going through my stash and i was like oh i forgot i even that, that used to be one of my favorite products and i'm just yeah and without further ado let's get right into this video if you guys can't go to starbucks every single day this starbucks double shot energy mocha coffee it's unbelievably unhealthy for you, but, uh, oh my god. Is this illegal? Is this, like, allowed? Is this allowed? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I actually did my brows off camera. My brows are, I... Honestly, I'm so in love with the Urban Decay brow products that I just refuse to use anything else. And I primed my eyes off camera with my MAC Painterly Paint, no, my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Remember when this was like the quintessential eye primer? Like no one used any other primer. Maybe the, maybe the Urban Decay primer, but this was the quintessential primer. I forgot to even own this. And I just forgot that it was just like a, I like this. Um, I might go back to using this full time. I kind of want to see what kind of what kind of tea she's giving. You know what I mean? The tea hopped out, mama. The house down, boots, mama. Yes, God, mama. <sighs> okay, so for primer today, I gagged when I saw this in my collection. The Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer. Do we remember when this was like the primer? Like, this was the primer. I got the smoothing primer because this is actually my favorite one of the entire collection. I don't know how old this is, but we're just gonna wing it. I just remember when everyone and their mother used to talk about that primer. I like it. I love this primer. I think it's a really good primer. It used to be my go-to. I still really like this primer. Like, it's a really good smoothing primer. Like, she smooths. She's smooth. She feels like... A baby's butthole, you know what I mean? Okay, so for foundation today, I have the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. This is a 24-hour foundation. I have the shade Natural. Now, I received the fucking massive PR box that had every single shade in it, and I, the most I did with this foundation was watch to see what my shade was, and my shade was... It, it was lighter back in the day. She's tan now. I don't know why I never found a review. I don't know. I meant to throw this into like a drugstore first impressions or something like that along the lines. But I heard it. I think I, I think I was hearing that I was breaking people out or something like that. And I just never got around to just trying it out. I don't know the claims of this foundation. I've always wanted to try it. I just had it stashed in my collection. I don't know how much I should be using. Probably not that much, but um Yarlari. Yeah, Ooh. 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 Oh my god. 
Maybe she's onto something. Ooh, okay. <gasps> wow. By the way, this is not wet. I'm extremely lazy and refuse to get up from this chair. Okay, I have a wet sponge now. I'm not, we ain't playing no fucking games. All 2019, we ain't playing no fucking games. Like, this, <laughs> no shade, but this might be my new favorite foundation. You know what this is? This is it. You know when a foundation looks so good, you just want to keep applying it, and then it stops looking good because you apply it too much? Well, that's not the case right here. Like, it still looks good, even on the second layer. This just might be my fourth layer. I don't know. I don't even know. I lost count at this point. Okay, so for concealer, I have the Tarte Cosmetics Tarte Shape Tape. I forgot, I even own, honestly, like I just forgot about this concealer. I don't keep up with Tarte products anymore. And I found this digging into my concealer drawer and my concealer drawer is a fucking cavernous, deep pit of just beige, okay? Beige. So we're gonna, we're gonna test her out. We're gonna see, nope. Going into the shade Light Medium Honey. I remember how full coverage this is, but listen. People say nothing tops the Tarte Shape Tape coverage. Bitch, this does. This is 10 bucks. What else does? This does. Bitch, this definitely does. Like, this shits on Tarte Shape Tape, if I'm gonna be honest. I always be acting surprised as fuck when I put all this makeup on and I'm like, oh wow, that's pretty heavy. Setting powder. This used to be my shit. In 2017, when I found this in my collection, when I was shopping, when I was shopping my stash, um, I was sister shook, um, and I was ready to sister shake. All right, going into the Derma Blend. Do you see that? Ow, ow, got it, in my, got it, got it, in my eye. I just stamped my eye. Oh God, I look good as fuck. <laughs> Bitch, you look good as fuck. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Bitch, you look good as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, okay. Where are you going? <laughs> Nowhere. Bitch, you look good as fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Babe. Okay, so next I'm going into this. So this is also my goodbye video. I'm going to be dying of measles now. I know, that joke is so old. It's old, it's tired. Everyone that still makes Kat Von D jokes about her not vaccinating her kid, it's over, it's tired, let's stop. But I'm also dying of measles. So I'm gonna go into this. This used to be my holy grail, and now I moved on to my Catrice one. Um, I'm actually excited to try this again. Despite um, me attracting What's another one? The bubonic plague from this palette. It's actually really good. Bitch, the bubonic plague. What the fuck? Um, so next I'm gonna go into my please ignore these scrapes. This was for my mixing all my highlighters together video. But I'm gonna go into my Ofra. Oh my god, Ofra. You guys remember Ofra? I love Ofra still. I think they're a good company. Um, but I'm gonna go into this one. I forgot. I think this is like Beverly Hills or Rodeo Drive or something like that. Actually, no, I'm gonna go into this one. I'm gonna go into this one. This one's Rodeo Drive or Beverly Hills. One of the two. Ofra highlighters are fucking insane, guys. Like, as nothing shows up, I'm screaming. That's kind of embarrassing. Mm. Mm. 
Eh. Eh. I have somewhere to go. Despite it being difficult to work with, I think this is just because they're in a palette and they kind of dry it out or something. Um, I do like Ofer highlighters. I just feel like they can be too much and a little bit too textury. Um, but that used to be the look back in the day. Remember when everyone just... Actually, no, that's the look now. Everyone and their mama got like a fucking white stripe down their cheeks. And they're like, glowing for the gods. I'm like... <laughs> Okay, so for blush, I have my NARS Orgasm. Now, the reason why I forgot about this uh, blush is because I don't like it. And I don't know why it, was, it ever received the hype that it received back in the day. Like, I, I still, to this day, do not understand why it was so popular. It just doesn't show up. It's, like, really hard to show up. Like, I gotta fucking dig in there. Hello? I would like to orgasm, please. Mm. Pitch. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face with my prim my primer, my setting spray. You right there? Thing today. You do. Bitch, I'm talking about you. Yo, I dead ass drooled. <laughs> I drooled! <laughs> bitch, wait, you look that good, you drooled over yourself, bitch. <laughs> So for eyes today, um, I have a story behind this one. I have the James Charles X Morphe palette. Now, I have been wanting to fucking use this palette for 16 billion fucking years. And I never got it because uh, surprisingly enough, <laughs> shocker, um, I didn't receive it in PR. And an hour before it went live, my affiliate code suddenly vanished. Um... But that's a different discussion for a different day. Uh, but I still wanted to support because I still love Morphe. I still love their products. Um, use code not Thomas because it doesn't fucking work anymore. Thanks a lot, Morphe. Now, the reason why I'm putting this in the like products that I forgot about is because I genuinely forgot about this. I forgot that it existed, and here's why. Because for six months, I just did not know about makeup. I did not know when this was out. Matter of fact, I thought this was limited edition. I forgot, I didn't even know that they were restocking this at all. Well, I know they restocked it once or something like that. They restocked it like once or twice and it was always at like 10 a.m. my time and bitch, I wake up at 1 p.m. So, and fuck you think I'm wasting three hours in my sleep to get a palette that I can just borrow from a friend. So, uh, but I, I did buy this one, thinking about, people are like, there's no way you forgot about the James Charles palette. I just, I just, no, I'm gonna get a fucking comment like that. Bitch, you don't have this brain. I forgot what I had for dinner yesterday, so leave me alone. So, I'm gonna try to do a really pretty look. I did exactly what James requested, which was to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I set it with this shade. I don't have that little sheety thing with the, the shades. I know this one's Social Blade, right? This one's Social Blade or something. Um, oh no, it's the green one. Sorry, I'm just so used to saying my Social Blade red. Um, and this one's like, this one's like Sisters, right? Like this one's Sisters. Let me try to guess these names off the top of my head. I feel like that'd be a fun game for me right now while I procrastinate. I really don't want to do color in my eye today, but I'm going to do it because uh, it's just really hard to blend, you know what I mean? I feel like this one's like, this one's like, uh, privilege. Um. I just, I just thought of a joke and oh my god, Thomas. Yeah, I don't know any of these names. I just know this one's white privilege and this one's social blade. Um, so I'm gonna try to go into social blade and, um, 
some of these colors on here. I'm not going into the blues because I love myself and I refuse to try to blend out a blue today. Not on, not in my Applebee's am I doing that. Uh, I'm going into that hot pink because it just, you know, screams my name. Are these pigments? What the fuck? Holy shit. Bitch, holy fuck. <laughs> wow. You know, if anything, it's definitely better than the 35O or the 35B from Morphe. I called this shit too. People were like, why is the 35B like not like being sold anymore? Um, well, sweetie, I think you got your answer. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Shit. Uh, now I want to get dragged. It's not actually, you know, it's not that ugly. It's actually, I just have to reapply it. That's it. That's all I had to do was just reapply. You know, it looks better in person than it does on camera. That's what beauty gurus say, right? I'll just lie and say that. I'm kidding. My God. So next I'm going into the shade The House. It's right next to Down Mama Boots um, and right above um, what I wish my social blade looked like. Um, sorry about these jokes. These are not funny jokes. Okay. <laughs> I think this is my fault. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. I try to fix it. Um, I honestly think it was just the shades that I used. I, I just feel like maybe the brushes I used, I don't know what it was, but I have to be honest, I not the best first impressions. Um, again, I used Paintly Paint Pot, the thing that he recommended or stop a paint, a paint pot from Mac and to set it, which is what he also recommended, I believe. Just feel like I used it wrong. So if you guys in the comments have this palette and you like it, um, how do you use it? What do you use? What do you do? I honestly can't even, I mean, I don't even have a lip product to share with you guys. So I think I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, simply because I just, there's not a look that I can pull with this and I have somewhere to be and I just don't have time to, sit down and redo an entire look. So this kind of sucks. I don't know about this. So I'm just gonna have to try it again. Uh, I'm not gonna finish this eye look because I mean, just it's it's not happening. It's just not happening. So um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, unfortunately. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the other products I tried, all the face products I tried, I really do enjoy and I really like how pretty my face is, which is why I'm kind of bummed out that my eye makeup isn't good because it deserves, like I'm definitely reusing all these products again for a new, a different face, for a different makeup look or just something else or just for my day to day. Cause I, I mean, this foundation is absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, ah, uh, damn, I hate that I'm, uh, this, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you don't know, I'm on Twitch and I stream four days out of the week, sometimes even seven days out of the week on my Twitch channel streaming. I just do just chatting, I react to videos, I do makeup looks, and I also um, play video games live on stream and I get to chat with you guys. Um, and it's another platform that you can use to support me um, if you want to support me. So check me out on Twitch, I'll have that link down below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video, which will be Friday or Saturday. Probably Friday, but it might end up being Saturday. Anyways, I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.